This one's going to be on some scripts I created for custom action scripts. So this one is to mount uh, disk images or archives. So you don't actually have to burn your disk image like uh, your ISO files, your bin files, your uh, NRG files, IMG files, so on and so forth. And same thing with archives, you don't have to extract it. You can just mount it uh, like your zip files, your RAR files, your TAR files. And I believe it supports some other ones, but I haven't tried all of them. Anyways, um, how do you do this here? So we're going to open up our file manager, and this is using Thunar in my XFC machine here. But uh, it should work on any file manager that has custom action scripts uh, support for it. So um, let's give you an example here. Uh, I think I have some stuff in here. There you go. Some ISO images here. Now, in XFC, they actually have a disk image mounter. And I believe this one is using um, the GNOME tool, something in the background to mount it. And this one is actually really good. It's just that it only works with ISO images. It doesn't work with any other uh, images. Okay, so let's mount this here. This is what it looks like when you're mounted, right? And that one is perfectly fine. And I would have been using that one really, but it doesn't work with other image um, formats, like I said. And that's why I can't just use that one. Uh, however, if you use just ISOs, that one should be fine. Um, but I created my own script, and this one is using Fuse ISO in the background because I don't want to type in passwords and all that using just the mount commands. Um, and it does pretty much the same thing. So this one's for ISO images here. And I can use uh, this is my script down here, and it's just called Disk Image Mounter here at the bottom. And I just do that, and it's a little bit different because it doesn't mount it on the side here uh, under devices. It mounts it to your temp folder, and it opens it uh, in a new uh, what is that window here, All right? And you can see that uh, this is the image that we mounted. And if you want to unmount it, you do unmount this image here. Pretty simple, right? Um, however, like I said with this script, you can actually mount other images. So we're going to do that here. We're going to have some, we're going to mount some of my ROMs here. And these are PlayStation 1 ROMs, but you can see they have bin files, uh, IMG files, so on and so forth. So that's what I do. We're going to mount um, all of them at the same time. Why not? We'll mount a bunch of these here. This one too. All right, we're going to do this image mounter. And basically when you mount it, it's going to open uh, different folders for each one of them. And you can see that here it mounts, uh, what was that, this IMG image. Uh, this one is a bin file. This one is IMG. This one's a bin file, so on and so forth. And all of them are mounted here, right? Uh, and you can browse through it and look through it, whatever. But once you're done, you can just right click on it and then unmount this image and it unmounts it. Pretty simple. And let me show you how to set that up here. So basically, you just download the script, really. But uh, all you gotta do is make a new one. You know, you click on Add, and inside it, uh, all you gotta do is give it a name. So I call this one Disk Image Mounter, and use the script whatever uh, you know is located in your hard drive. And you want to do a percent capital N, and this one's without paths. And as far as the uh, appearance condition, you want to use others. And this one is only limited to a certain amount of uh, extensions. So ISO images, it can do, it can do bin, it can do uh, the Nero um, NRG files, the MDF stuff, and the IMG stuff. So that's what we're gonna put for the extensions only, right? Um, so that's that. Now as far as the unmounting. Pretty much the same thing. You do unmount this image, um, and then you do the same thing. You point the script to whatever it is, and then you do a was that percent capital N. And as far as the conditions, you want to put directories because uh, when you mount it, it's only a directory. It's nothing else, right? Uh, when we unmount everything, so that's it. That's all I gotta do for that. And let me explain you the archive mounter now. Okay. And let's go back to where's our PC games here. So archive mounter. Usually when you 
want to um, look at a RAR file or something like that, you, you probably have to extract it or use some funky, um, what is that, X archiver, whatever here. I always hate this fucking thing, it sucks. Uh, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is just mount this damn thing so we can actually use our browser to look at it and it looks better. Uh, so how you gonna do this? All you gotta do is right click on this and we have this thing called archive mounter here and basically it mounts it on the side here um, And this one is using GVFS mount. It's kind of like a hidden Feature that they don't tell you in the fucking man page, but you can actually mount archives in here uh, It doesn't look as pretty though. You can see how it has like these um, I don't know this weird freaking unicodes or whatever um, but it does mount it and you can see what's inside it and like I said it supports uh, zip files RAR files tar files and many other extension that I haven't tried yet But once you're done you can just unmount it and you're back to normal um, So it's pretty simple like that uh, Let me see we have some other stuff. So these are RAR files, but you can do it with zip files and all that too So let's say mount another one here And these are some Dragon Ball Mugen that I was using Anything else here? So let me give you another example. Okay, so those ones were RAR files, but let's say we have zip files here. So we mount this thing here. And I mainly use this one for, I guess, comics. So let's give me an example here. Do we have some comics? Uh, let's go back to my home folder and we're gonna go to comics here. And if you ever use like uh, CBR, CBZ files, uh, no big deal. Those are just basically zip and RAR files, right? So all you do is right click on this and we'll do archive mounter and guess what when we open it We can actually see what's inside uh, you know with our Image of viewer and all that and you can read it. So if you want to just preview what's inside your uh, Archives instead of extracting it or something like that and then you can use this archive mounter and the way that you set this up, pretty simple. You just do the same thing. You go to edit. Uh, if you're using Thunar here, you do custom actions here. And the archive mounter, uh, just add a new one. But inside it, you want to put archive mounter as the name or whatever name you want. Point it to the script and the same thing again, percent capital N. And as far as the conditions, uh, I just use others. And I use a star because I don't remember. Um, I don't know what the, you know file format it supports. I mean, it supports a lot. That's why I put all of them. But that's all you do. Put a star in there and other files, right? As far as the script, let me show you that. Where is our script here? We do Ranger. And okay, this is our archive mounter here. And let me go in here and show you. This one is using the GVFS mount uh, command, and they do have like this archive um, uh, feature, but they don't show you that in the man page, so it's kind of weird. But it does work, like I said, I showed you that already. So that's all you gotta do is make sure that you install GVFS mount and you use the script. And I, I even show you the other um, options in here, what you need to do. All right, that's it for that. And the other one was that our disk image mounter here, right? Uh, this one, like I said, it uses uh, Fuse ISO, and once you mount it, it's going to use XDG Open to open that folder, so you know where exactly where it is. Uh, anything else in here? Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, some. Um, I think I had a comment last time where they couldn't get the command to work. So if 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 you uh, just put the uh, was it the path to the script and it doesn't work, try running with Bash. Uh, in front of it so bash and in the path um, you know if it doesn't work and I believe he was on Debian at the time all right but anyways that's the script for that and as far as unmounting it this is another script here and pretty much you use the um, the fuse arm mount and this will um, unmount it using the, the dash u flag anywho that is how you would unmount mount and was that uh, yeah mount the archives or this images uh, using our scripts here 
that's it for this one. It doesn't actually work with all the archive mounts, or it doesn't actually work with all the disimage mounts, but your mods may vary. Some of them are not standard compliant, or um, some wish it might happen, but uh, generally it does work. Try it out, see if you like it. That's it for this one.